Hi everyone, I am Leonard Palindungan and I'm an advisor with Bridge and I'm delighted to have this session with you. Just a little bit about myself, I'm a crypto enthusiast with more than 15 years of working experience in traditional finance from insurance, private banking, investment banking, and also asset management. Today, I have a very interesting topic to share with you. Since I'm a crypto enthusiast, I will talk about seven reasons why Bitcoin price will not drop to zero. I believe a lot of people keep asking this question because the price of Bitcoin is very volatile and people, are, people want to invest, but they're worried. Are they going to be zero? So today I will share with you about what I think and I believe will happen to Bitcoin, which is it will not drop to zero. In this session, I will share a bit about my credentials and some of the advisory that I can provide for you before I jump in into the, the, my, my session for today, which, the topic for today, which is why Bitcoin price will not drop to zero. Let me share what the PowerPoint slide that I prepared for you. Okay, so me, I am. Uh, I begin my stint in the fin traditional finance as a financial advisor with Prudential and then with Aviva for a total of two years. Before I jump into more of a banking role, which is as a treasury operation analyst, for treasury is a product with a maturity less than one year. So product like forex deposit loans those type of product that the uh, trader use or treasury manager use to manage the cash flow of the companies or the department those are the product that uh, i i handle in terms of operations at that point of time and i spent quite a, a lot quite a long time with uh, as a treasury operation analyst is six years before i moved to capital markets Ops manager with UOB and CT with a total experience of four years. Uh, what's the difference between treasury ops and capital market operation is that for capital market operation, you will handle more of a capital market product such as stocks, bonds, and even options. So, so that's where the first time I'm encounter exotic option. And it's a very interesting exotic option. Things like knock in, knock out, double knockout, and something that I can share with you if you're interested. It's a uh, a lot of people talk about option. Actually, option is quite an interesting uh, capital market products. And uh, most people only know about call or put option, but actually there are a lot of different type of option which I can share with you. Then after that, I move to asset management and I become a middle office manager. For as a middle office manager uh, in East Spring Investment, I was the subject matter expert for derivative product. So derivative things like forward, uh, interest rate swaps, cross currency swaps, futures, and also including options. Are uh, those are the things that I handle? And not only the product itself, I also handle the collateral management uh, of the product. Because as you know, for derivatives, ever since the two thousand eight financial crisis, there's a Basel guideline and there's a requirement for you to meet certain uh, collateral if you want to trade derivative, so that you cannot be too speculative. Because what happened during the 2008 is basically the bankers are speculating. So that's why, that's where my role is. The product is very interesting. And uh, I'm doing more of a managing, I don't execute all the settlement confirmation or the trade itself. I, I, I help the trader, once they execute the trade, whatever post execution, I will be the one who are handling queries and making sure that everything is tip top and everything is settled after it's executed. Now, doing my stint in East Spring Investment uh, around 2020 is where I was exposed to blockchain technology. So I'm involved in the blockchain project uh, for futures trading and I become a recipient, me and my team members of the project become a recipient of Gartner, Gartner Eye of Innovation Award in 2020. Gartner is a management consulting firm and they have award for innovation in technology every year and me and my team we are we are delighted and we are honored to receive this 
And actually, that's the point where I realized that blockchain technology can really streamline banking operations. So I decided I need to get into this as soon as possible. That's the reason why I, I decided to go all in into cryptocurrency and blockchain. I, I, I start my own company as a tra training director. The company name is Distributed Ledger Capital, uh, whereby I provide up-to-date training course, online training course and coaching such as this uh, for people who are interested in cryptocurrency. And also, I also advocate for digital asset literacy by launching my own YouTube channel called Bapak Crypto. So if any of you are interested, you can go to YouTube and search Bapak Crypto. You can see the profile picture is my face. And that's where I post interesting video about cryptocurrency, blockchain, NFT, and all sorts.